Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm reevaluating my recent raw land purchase. Back in March, we bought a 0.39 acre lot with plans to build a new home that have been progressing slowly but surely as we wait for a few other things to fall into place. Since the time we purchased the property, there have been delays, higher than expected costs, and an overall increase in the cost of new homes, all caused by the craziness that is the 2021 real estate market. I always like to draw attention to issues I notice with whatever I'm doing that could affect others looking to do something similar. And right now I'm seeing quite a few that could cause some serious problems for people buying land to build on. There are definitely benefits to building, but right now are they big enough to justify the new risks? If they aren't, we have to seriously look at if we'd be better off buying something existing even though right now that comes with a whole new set of problems. The point of this video isn't to convince you that building is better than buying existing or buying existing is better than building. It's simply to inform you of what I'm actually seeing as someone in the housing industry. You can take that information and do whatever you like with it. What I'm gonna do is tell you the new risks involved in building, how you might be able to avoid them and tell you whether I think building or buying is the best option in today's current market conditions. So let's do it. Buying land for a new home build is a lot more work and has way more moving parts than simply going out and buying an existing home. With that extra work is supposed to come an added benefit that you wouldn't find in an existing home. Could be the ability to customize a dream home and get exactly what you want, or could come in the form of sweat equity whereby doing a lot of the work yourself, you can end up with something similar to one of those existing homes in your market, but for less money. Basically, you trade convenience for more work, stress, and time with the hope of getting pretty much the same thing, but at a lower price. At least that's the hope. If there's no longer a reward for the extra time, stress, and work that come with building, then the big question becomes, what's the point? The biggest risk I see right now with buying land to build is how fast the cost to build is rising. We bought the property back in March. We got a quote done before we bought it to see how much it would be for a new septic system. Between the time we got the original quote and the time we were actually ready to install the septic system, the price had increased. In a normal year, most companies would do up a quote and hold that price for a certain amount of time while you made up your mind. 14 days, 30 days, whatever, everyone was different. Then when you committed to that product or service and paid a deposit, you knew that was the price that you were going to pay and they locked that price in for you and that was it. Unfortunately for me and everyone looking to do the same thing this year, those days are gone. Now, most companies won't lock in their pricing because they just can't. Costs from their suppliers are changing so fast that if they lock in my pricing, they run the risk of taking on a job and losing money. I've heard the exact scenario play out many times with people commenting on my channel. They buy a lot with the plan to build a new home. Between the time they actually complete on the lot and finalize the price of their new home, the price of the new home has jumped up. Or even worse, they finalize on a new home purchase and before the home is done, the company comes back with a price adjustment because the cost of their materials have gone up. And like I said, a lot of companies won't guarantee their price right now. So in order to buy a home for the lot they already purchased, the buyers now have to take on a new risk of signing a contract to build a home, not actually knowing what the final price of the home is going to be. To be clear, this is no fault of anyone who went out and bought a lot. You usually don't pick a home for a lot until you have the lot because the lot will dictate the floor plan of the home. So it's not like they put the cart before the horse, it was just bad timing. For most people, buying a home is one of the most important events of their life and the rules changed halfway through the game. It definitely isn't a fair situation, but people are having to adjust on the fly in order to finish their home build. A lot of times that means trying to come up with more money to get the home they originally planned on or canceling the build altogether and finding out what to do with their vacant lot. To give you an idea of how much and how fast prices have actually gone up, let's look at all the price increases I've received for a new manufactured home since the time we closed on the lot. March 8th, 2%. March 17th, 3.5%. April 1st, 1.75%. April 14th, 5.5%. April 28th, 4%. May 6th, 2.5%. May 11th, 1.5%. May 18th, 2.5%. June 10th, 1.5%. So in the three and a half months since I purchased the lot, the price of a new manufactured home has gone up 24.75%. 
Let's say I was planning on buying a home that was $100,000 and after buying the lot, that's all I'd budgeted for. The price of the exact same home three and a half months later would be $124,750, a $24,750 increase. That increase is not an easy pill to swallow when in my experience, people buy at the top of their budget to begin with. For my lot, I was lucky because I already had a double wide that I was looking for land for, so I was able to avoid all of those increases. But for the normal buyer, it wouldn't make any sense to buy the home before the land because as I mentioned before, it just doesn't add up logistically. You might be able to find a manufactured home provider or site builder who is willing to lock in your pricing. And if you can, that's great. Your risk is now gone. You might be paying a little bit more upfront for that certainty to allow them a buffer if prices continue to rise like they have been, but at least you'll know for sure what you're actually going to be paying. If you can't find a builder that will lock in pricing and you aren't comfortable with the extra risk, it might be worth looking at something existing. Buying an existing home is the other option, but that comes with its own set of challenges. Someone I know recently listed their home for sale. They got over 30 offers and their home sold for 25% more than what they were asking. So, okay, you might be wondering, Carrie, how is this the better deal? If the price of a new manufactured home has gone up 24.75% in the last three months, but houses are selling for 25% over asking price, building seems like the better deal. Here's why and it all comes down to risk. If you try to buy an existing home, but the highest offer is over your budget, you just don't buy that home. You walk away from that experience frustrated because maybe you really wanted that house, but you still have all your money that was going to be used for a down payment. And when the frustration wears off, you're right back where you started. And when you find another house, you're ready to make another offer. However, if you buy the land and prices shoot up another 24% and all of a sudden you can't build anything within your budget, now that land might be holding you back from buying anything else. So now you have a piece of land that you can't do anything with because prices went crazy that is also preventing you from buying an existing home. Until things settle down, that's the risk you have to be willing to take on if you want to buy land to build on. If you already bought land and price increases have prevented you from building what you originally planned, which I know has happened a lot because I see it in the comments, it's not all bad news. The good news is that like everything else, the price of land has gone up as well. So if you bought land at the end of last year or the beginning of this year, there's a really good chance you can sell that land for more than you bought it for and reevaluate the entire process. The biggest risk I see right now with buying land for any type of home is how fast the cost to build is changing. Whether you're buying a manufactured home, having a contractor build a home on site, or building the entire home yourself, it's extremely hard to budget when the cost to build is changing so much on a daily basis. Like I said at the beginning, the point of this video isn't to convince you one option is better than the other. It's only to tell you what I'm actually seeing so you can make an informed decision what's going to be the best route for you. If it were me and I was buying a house for myself to live in, I would probably be leaning towards buying something existing until things settle down and people are able to guarantee pricing. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.